evening is a best-selling author, and she's currently writing for Vanity Fair magazine. Please welcome the always opinionated Fran Leibowitz. <laughs> I, I feel I feel bad for you because you miss the animals. Uh, you must you must like animals. Um, well, my favorite animal is rack of lamb. <laughs> really? So. Yeah, do you feel best around? You're not a big animal lover. No, I'm not a big animal lover. Did you Did you ever have pets as a as a child? Um, when I was very young, like three or four, um, I had a parakeet uh, named Polka Dotty. Polka Dotty? Yes, I was a, interested in words even then. Yes. I named Polka Dotty. You were a wordsmith at That's a right. young age. A word stir. Word stir. Sorry. And uh, uh, my pr job was to feed the bird, who ate uh, bird seed and celery tops. Mm -hmm. um, I was too young to realize that eating was anything but recreational. I you thought, just thought people did it for fun. Right. I thought it was, you know, something parents provided for you three times a day, like coloring. You know? <laughs> right, so right. So I would go downstairs to feed the bird and talk to the bird and eat the bird's food. Okay. This resulted in the premature death of the bird. Your bird died? My birds strived to death because I ate the bird food. <laughs> did they explain to you? Did, I mean, how did your... Did you well, feel an incredible sense of guilt or anything like that? No, because they lied to me. That's why lying is good. Um, <laughs> what did they tell you? You lie to children. People don't lie to children enough. Um, I went downstairs one morning and the bird wasn't there. I went upstairs, asked where the bird was. My mother said she flew south for the winter. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, I don't know. I, people, that's a new trend these days. People with kids... They just tell them they're, they, 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 deal, them they deal with kids like they're adults. All my friends with kids, uh, you're talking to them, the kid comes running in the room and goes, uh, 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 and they go, now, huh? And they talk to them like an adult. Whereas in my day, they're like, get out of here and don't come back to your 18. Stay in your room. That's right. And, and you then can leave. Come out. And then leave immediately. <laughs> Instantaneously. Uh, are you excited about this Mars expedition, the big trip to Mars that they took? Well, I was pretty stunned to discover that Mars looks exactly like Arizona. I mean, well, you know, it looks like something horrible happened in Arizona and all the condos blew away. <laughs> and after all these years, centuries, you know, uh, uh, people had romance about, you know, the planet's outer space. You could imagine anything. And now we know, Tempe. <laughs> all that way, all that money. Right, all that for, money for just that. Just to see Tempe. Right, just to depress us further. <laughs> if that's possible. Now, what about, you like living here, speaking of uh, locations, you like it here in the city. You like New York. You rarely leave New York. Um, I leave on occasion. I used to prefer New York before it became so popular with the rest of America. Mm -hmm. You know, I liked New York when everyone else hated it. Right. Because then they stayed in their own malls. Right. You know? Okay. You're a people person, I've decided. Well, you know? <laughs> um, only compared to animals. <laughs> okay. Now, how do you get around the city? What's your preferred method of transportation? Well, do you like to drive around in cabs and stuff? Um, no, I avoid cabs assiduously because I, I mostly I walk, um, but sometimes I take the subway because the advantage of the subway over the cab is that the driver may in fact be recently escaped from a mental institution, but you can't see him. <laughs> in a subway that's hidden that's from right. you. The best thing about the subway is you cannot see the driver. <laughs> okay. You know, that is, uh -huh. and people should take it for that reason. Now, what, what's wrong? You've had bad experiences in cabs? Oh, my cab experience has been bad. And mm -hmm. I, I think I've been in cabs a couple times this month. Both times I didn't finish the ride. You just I say stop. I, do you roll out while it's moving or? Um, uh, no, I don't want to give them that satisfaction. <laughs> okay. No. You say please stop. Also, in the, uh, Andy, you'll back me up on this. It's really dreadfully hot in the I summer, yeah. especially here in New York City this last week. You get in a cab. Which has the most deceitful document in the world pasted at the backseat of every cab, the uh, Passenger's Bill of Rights. <laughs> my favorite thing. You are entitled to. Yeah. As if yeah. You, you have to have a lawyer with you or a gun. Right. Because right. you say, I am entitled to air conditioning. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is your recourse? You have no recourse. It's then they air say... Air conditioning on demand. That's right. Too. <laughs> so there's one little duck that goes... <laughs> That's it. It's actually a person doing that. No, it's, it's, the, so... it's the person who talks to you when you get out. It's the same person who tells you to take your belongings. Uh -huh. But you say to the guy, could you turn the air conditioner on? It's on. Like, you're going to argue with him. Yeah, it's, it's very depressing. <laughs> do you have anything nice to say before your segment's over? Do you have any uplifting, <laughs> genuinely nice thing to say to the people of America who are all glued to their sets right now watching this show? You know, it's not that I don't want to say nice things. I mean, I would like to, but there just seems to be you no know, motivation for it. <laughs> you know? I mean, if something nice happened, like, for instance, if I won the lottery, all right. I would have something nice to say. Right. Do you buy lottery tickets? I do buy them. I buy them occasionally. In fact, in the last lottery in New York that was $40 million, I won fourth place. What, what is fourth place? Well, first prize was $40 million. Four, Fourth place was $18.50. <laughs>
to explain your mood just right. a little but bit. A perfect analogy for life. First place, 40 million. Fourth place, 1850. The difference was three numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm going to go shoot myself. Uh, you should check out uh, Fran's interviews in Vanity Fair and, of course, the Fran Leibowitz uh, Reader, which is a hilarious book and Thank available you. everywhere. People should read it. Thanks so much for uh, coming by and, and seeing us again and giving us all that let's go spirit that we need so badly. Good Thanks to see you. Friendly, what's everybody? We'll be right back with John Fogarty. Stick around.